You may be excited about Canva's AI tools, but may also feel a little lost with what's available and where to start. So I've handpicked the 12 most impressive AI tools from Canva. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use them with practical application. Plus stick around to the end as I'll be shedding some light on some crucial do's and don'ts to ensure you make the most out of these tools without stepping over any lines. I'm Sarah Nguyen and before we dive in, check out my link in the description where you can get access to Canva Pro free for 45 days so you can use all of the premium features. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of when I release new videos like this one. First up, we have Canva Magic Expand. Now this tool, as the name suggests, lets you expand an image and have a little bit more of the image that's outside of the frame. So like this picture you see here, I've taken a selfie and my arm is a little bit cut off. With Magic Expand, I was able to use the AI to create extra parts of the image so I could have a fuller image. Now let's see Canva Magic Expand in action. So I'm going to select the image that I want to expand. Then I'm going to select Edit Photo. And then I'm going to select Magic Expand. I get the option here to choose the size I want it to expand into. So I'm just going to do a little bit here, but you can choose the whole page or any of these other sizes here. And then simply select Magic Expand and Canva will do their thing. And now I have some results from Canva and I think they've done a pretty good job with this in generating some extra space. So they've given me the rest of this person's arm and then I've got different background options here. So this is not too bad. If you're not happy with it, you can generate new results and see what it comes back with. Otherwise you select done to finish off with it. Next, we have Magic Eraser, which you may have guessed allows you to remove or erase unwanted things from your image. So like here, we have one of the images that Canva generated for me, but I don't quite like this white text randomly in the back here. So what I can do is I can select it, I can select Edit Photo, and then I can select Magic Eraser. Now I can brush over the image and I can choose the image size. So if I need it to be bigger, I simply drag it here and you can see that increases the size or you can make it smaller if you need that precision. So I'm going to just drag it over this section here, let Canva do its thing once again. And now you can see that they've erased that text there and they've also replaced it with pixels so that it looks quite pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Moving on to grab text. Now this is a really useful tool in the AI suite that allows you to, as the name suggests, once again, grab the text you want to edit in an image or a photo that's already embedded. So this is also really useful if you've created something with AI and the text isn't right, or if you have an image that your graphic designer has created and you need to take the text off, but you need to do it quickly and you can't send it to them. So I'm going to select the image. I'm going to go to edit photo and I'm going to select grab text and then Canva are going to do their thing. And just in a minute, I'm going to be able to manipulate the text. And now all of the text from the book cover of Divine Rivals, which is a really good book if you're into the whole enemies to lover fantasy magic world space. Anyway, now all of the text from the book cover, I can click on and I can edit it or I can delete it. This gives me so much freedom and is very, very handy. Just like that, I've been able to grab the text and do what I need to do with it. Let's talk about Magic Edit. So Magic Edit allows you to take a photo and add new things to them, go from text to image in a few clicks. So like this photo I have here, I used Magic Edit to add this little fireball. So how do you do it? You take the image that you want to add something to, you go to Edit Photo, and then you go to Magic Edit. Now from here, you want to brush over the area that you want to add the thing to. So I'm going to brush over this little space here, which is where I want to add a little fireball to. So I'm just gonna brush that space over there with the mouse selected. And here's where you need to describe what you want for the AI to generate for you. So I'm going to go a fireball, and then I'm going to go generate. So these are some of the options. As usual, you can generate new results if you're not happy with them. I don't mind this too much. I think it's quite okay. But if you're not happy with it, you can generate new results or go back up to describe your edit to change them and then select done once you've finished with it. 
Next, we have Magic Grab. It's perfect when you want to separate the subject of your photo from the background so you can reposition it or resize it while keeping the background of the photo. So I've got the photo here and I'd like to remove this lovely lady here from the background and move her to the right hand side. I've selected the photo. I'm going to go to Edit Photo and now I'm going to go to Magic Grab. Now that I've selected Magic Grab, Canvas done its thing and now have a look. I'm able to simply move her anywhere I want on the page. I can also resize her as well and it's kept the background for me too. So this is a really, really handy tool if you want to kind of change the image a little bit without having to do too much work. So next we have background removal which is what the name suggests. You're able to remove the background of an image. So I've got this image of a dragon here. I select it, I select edit photo, and I select BG remover here. And this allows me in a few clicks in a few seconds, as you can see, to remove the background of the image. And now it's transparent and I can use it in different images, download it as a .png file, and it's really, really quick and handy. With text to image, you can type what you want and Canva will generate an image for you. So what you would do is you would go to elements and you'll see it just below the initial images here and it's the AI image generator. So you want to select generate your own and here's where you describe what you want generated. So I'm going to go a golden dragon and then I'm going to choose the style that I want it to be in. So I think I'd like to have it as a filmic application. And then I'm going to select generate image. I think what they've generated here is pretty good. So you would simply select the image to add it to the canvas. Otherwise you can generate new versions to see what they come up with as well. We've also got text to video, which is the same premise. So here just next to the images tab, is videos and what you can do here is generate a really simple video just from text so let's here try to generate something interesting it really is a new technology so they they're not always great but let's see what it does so i would like to generate a video of fire and i'm going to generate it now so this is quite interesting and like that i've got a very interesting little video that I can then start to use. So it's a really new technology, as I said, and I find this a little bit hit and miss, but it's definitely something that you can play with. AI voiceovers let you add narration to your designs where you can just type the text in Canva and the power of AI can give it some voice. To access AI voiceovers, you want to go to the apps tab and you can simply type in AI voice and you'll see different apps that offer it here. I did a comprehensive video on how to use Murph AI in Canva, so you can check out the link in the description to check it out there, but we'll do a quick demo here. I'm going to select the icon. I've already created a Murph AI account, so if you haven't already done it, it's going to prompt you to connect your account and to create one with them. So then Murph AI allows us to choose the language, so I'm going to select English Australia, then you can select a voice. They've got different options here that you can choose from and you can test them out to see which one that you like. I'm going to choose Chloe and then I'm going to add some text. Hello, this is an AI voiceover. I'm going to then generate the voiceover. Hello, this is an AI voiceover. So that's pretty good. And then like that, you can just add it to your design and you've got a really cool piece of audio that was created from text. AI avatars take it one step further and they create an avatar for you that you can go from text to video with. So you would go to the app section here and type in AI avatar and there are lots of different third-party providers who do this. I created a tutorial on how to generate AI avatars using HeyGen. Let's do another provider here. So I'm going to select Deep Real AI videos for this video. Now, here's where you choose a presenter. Have a look at the different options that appeal to you. I'm going to go with Ellie here. I'm going to choose the background color and I think I'm going to make it white. I'm going to keep the aspect ratio to be 16 by nine. And I'm just going to add some text here so that we can generate a little video for you. I can select the language. I'm going to go, this is English and generate the video. Once the video is ready, it will appear in the asset section. So now I can select it and add it to the page. 
and let's have a look at what it sounds like. Hello, this is an AI avatar. So then we have Magic Write. Now, Magic Write is basically chat GPT in Canva that allows you to get help with written content and also generating ideas. So you can use it pretty much on any document type. You can access it by selecting the Canva Assistant, which is here, and typing Magic Write, or it may be recommended for you. Once you've done that, it will open up the dialogue box where you simply enter in what you want it to do. So I'm going to ask it to write a social media post for me to promote this video. Write a social media post to promote my YouTube video about the best AI tools in Canva. And then I'm going to select generate and it will come up with some output for me. Once it's generated the text for me, I can select the text, select Magic Write, and I've got the option to rewrite it, change the tone of it, continue writing it, make it longer. So it's nice to have it within Canva so you don't need to jump in and out of ChatGPT. You can stay all in the one place. Now, the last one you can use is ChatGPT to discover Canva templates. So Canva as a tool in ChatGPT, and you can access it via the paid version of ChatGPT. So you would go to Explore GPTs, and then you can typically find it by searching in the search bar, but it's currently trending at the moment. So you would select it, and this will open up the Canva chat GPT, and then you can ask it for a template. So I'm going to use one of the examples here. I would like an inspirational quote graphic for social media. You would go on and continue to answer the prompts from Canva. Now, because I didn't give them a very detailed prompt, I got some pretty generic template options. However, it still brought the designs to me. So with better prompts, it would have been more specific to what I needed. And now what I can do is I can select these from ChatGPT and it will open it in Canva ready for me to edit like that. So I really think that's a cool feature and a nice little one that you can have a play around with as well. Now let's look at Canva's AI product terms for some important things to know. They state that you're responsible for any content you create using AI, both the input of what you typed or uploaded and the output, what the AI generates. Here's a quick rundown of the key things to avoid from their terms. Don't pretend AI generated content is made by humans. Stay clear of giving medical, legal or financial advice. Avoid creating contracts, legal documents or political content. Refrain from producing offensive content including nudity or shocking material. Don't be gross. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of Canva's 12 most powerful AI tools. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please hit the like button for me and drop a comment to let me know which tool you liked the best. For more Canva tutorials, check out the playlist. And if you need help scripting your YouTube videos, grab a copy of my five swipeable YouTube scripts. They're designed to captivate your audience and boost your watch time. Just click on the screen to check them out. See you in the next video and bye for now.